In our top story tonight, McLennan County is just days away from receiving the COVID vaccine, but a new study shows only about half of Americans are actually willing to take it. Six News reporter Barry Roy spoke to local health officials who say this vaccine is safe. Well, will it give me COVID? Can I contract COVID from this vaccine? And no, you cannot. Doctors in McLennan County are asking the public to put their trust in them when it comes to getting the COVID vaccine. Uh, there's just things that sort of are in vogue. They're in and then they're out as to what is the devil here. Um, that the medical community is trying to sell us. And the scientific studies that prove it is safe. In a conference call Wednesday, healthcare officials asked the public to not buy into fears that the vaccine has crippling side effects and that taking it is in your best interest. I am eagerly awaiting this vaccine. Um, if there are others who need to go in front of me, I, I have no problem letting them go in front of me, though. Both Ascension Providence and Baylor Scott and White Hillcrest will each receive 975 doses of the vaccine on Monday. If you talk about um, who, who is a frontline person. Dr. Brian Becker, the chief medical officer with Ascension Providence, said his hospital staffs nearly 2,000 health care workers, so there won't be enough vaccines initially for everyone. Frontline is, is really stretches beyond um, what people may classically think of as a frontline um, uh, health care provider into a lot of ancillary services that are involved as well. No, it's not that everything is 100% safe. We know that crossing the street carries its risks. But doctors stress that more vaccines will be coming, that once frontline workers have been immunized, those who are offered it should take it. Everything carries some risk, but let's not major in the minors. Um, COVID is way worse than any small risk that may occur um, from getting the vaccine in and Temple. I would Barry Roy, 6 News. Now, Dr. Wilson said social media is to blame for misinformation and claims there isn't one study out there that suggests there are any serious side effects from the vaccine.